Hello and welcome to Getting Candid with me, your girl Helen. I hope you guys have been subscribing to the channel and inviting your friends to subscribe to the channel as we enjoy the conversations together. So today, as you can see, you're joining me from the wine shop. I'm surrounded by very nice wines. And also I made this look by Dark Beauty by Sonica. You guys, today I'm excited because I'm chatting with a female. I rarely have females on the show. I'm like, are we doing so much? Are they not doing so much? But I think they are. Today I'm chatting with a lady that has been trending for her music video. I'm talking about Zaven with Ide De Deshe. Ide De Deshe, something like that. But let's chat with her and get to know what Ide Deshe is all about, guys, on the other side. Welcome back. I mentioned that I'll be chatting with the Coppola Queen, Zaven. Hi. Hello, Lalaka Taipians. I never type you. You okay? You're a typer. I'm fine. How are you, Helen? I'm good. Nice. Firstly, I want to know what Zaven means. Zaven means attitude. Everything that you see that I do, the way I walk, the way I rap, that's Zaven. Oh, okay. Yeah, I came up with the name myself. Nice. What are your real names? I'm Rachel Mwewa. Rachel, Rachel Chakwa Mwewa. Yeah. Okay. Now, when you talk of Rachel and Zaven, I'm like, <laughs> no, let's stick to Zaven. <laughs> exactly. Do I look like a Rachel? No. No, right? Nah, no. Maybe your middle name. Chakwa, yes. right? <laughs> so you're saying I look like I have a Bimba name? <laughs> yes. I mean, <laughs> no, but local names are it's good. A, it's, it's okay. Yeah, they are. They are. They're good, actually. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'm happy to have you here. I'm happy to be here. Yeah, because uh, I've been trying to have you on the show. I think we, try, we were right. supposed to have an interview last year. And yeah. It happened, but thank God, finally, mm -hmm. we can do the interview. And there's so much to talk about now. So much. I'm yeah. glad I waited <laughs> for, the, for this time. I'm glad you did. Yeah. And yeah. Firstly, I want to talk about when I'm... When I, first knew you, I was like, who is this girl? I was seeing your TikTok videos, right. seeing type, uh, type Yandi, Laka type, I'm like, who is this girl? And I'm like, oh, she's a rapper. Mm. Then saw your songs, I'm like, okay. Mm. Um, when did you start music professionally? Okay, so I started music professionally in 2015 after high school because that's the only time that I was allowed to do school by my dad. Okay. Yeah, he, 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 he really, um, he loved the fact that I, I, I had something in me that was to do with being an artist, but he couldn't just allow me to do it while being in school because he thought that would disturb me oh, yeah. and I would forget about school and just went, because he knew I was good at it. Okay. So he told me, if you're still going to have interest after high school, then you can go on and be an artist. You were lucky. I, I was. And you know, um, after my last paper, I went straight to the studio. That's ah, grade 12 exams. Serious. And I was just there like, oh, so now I can come here because daddy told me I can come. <laughs> I wasn't even doing it. But I was just, I was there. Yeah, I was there. I was just, I was happy. Yeah. And your mother, she's around? Yeah, she's, she's alive. It's so sad that my dad is not even here to see where this whole music thing is taking me. Your father passed? Yeah, he passed. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he passed before you did any song? He passed after I did my first song okay. and it was well received and it was just like I knew this could happen and that's why I didn't want you to do it yeah. when you were in school but uh, yeah he passed okay. two years ago. Okay sorry. Yeah. And uh, your mother was she in support? My mom was a little skeptical. not too comfortable yeah. yeah she was a little skeptical about it because you know mothers they can be very overprotective especially when you're going to be around a lot of men. Mm -hmm. They just feel some type of way about it. Yeah, that's true. But now she's comfortable because I've made her believe in me. And I've told her to say, I can't disappoint you. Come on, this is art and I need to do what I have to do. Okay, so you were born yeah. and bred on the Copper Belt? Born and bred on the Copper Belt. I was born in Muflira and I was raised in Chingola. How often do you visit the Copper Belt? Oh, you are so now often. in Lusaka. So often. Yes, I'm now in Lusaka because of school. I'm more often here because of school and work. Okay. But I visit the Copper Belt for inspiration. You know what I mean? I need to be around these goons. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, I came across something on Instagram. Right. Like uh, the Copper Dictionary. Yeah. And I just realized how many words I didn't understand. I know. And There's I need to that, learn that, So that's why I want to go there more often to just, if they come, because those people are so creative. Yeah. So if they come up with something new, I need to go there. I need to go there and learn it and put it on a song or something. <laughs> But how has been, because uh, you, if you're saying 2015, you completed high school and right. you started pushing, how has been the push? Has it been tough or 
maybe one of the lucky few that has found it easy. I think I'm one of the lucky few. I, I call it a blessing because honestly, after 2015, I, I came here after I think three years down the line, I came here and I was, I was, in, I was in school. Because I remember, yeah, after I started doing music in 2015, Sheffy dropped his album. I don't know if it's in 2016 or 2017, and mm -hmm. he put me on his album. Okay. Yes, and that was a huge thing for me. You know what I mean? I didn't have songs out there, yeah. but then he put me on his album. And Chef 97 believes in you. You understand? That's yeah, huge. he's always believed in me, and I appreciate him because he doesn't know how much he saved my career just by him saying you can do this. Yeah. Just his words have really, really pushed me so far. So, yeah, he put me on his album. That was a huge thing for an artist like me and yeah. at that point, you know what yeah. I mean? Because I didn't have any music. And after he put me up there, now Nexus Music signed him and they were trying to put out the Deluxe album. So now they got two songs and that was the song that I featured on and the song that had Makito on it. Okay. So after that, they were asking people which song they wanted to see first. And people insisted they wanted to see me because they heard my voice. Yeah. I mean, remember, I didn't have any songs out yeah. there, no videos. So after they saw me, I mean, they heard me, they wanted to put a face to the voice. Yeah. So they said they wanted to see me first. Next, I sat down, had my rap scheme, the, the way I rap, my style, and they loved me and they just signed me to Nexus. So nice. you see, it was nice. You, you were lucky. I was really lucky. Yeah. yeah. So uh, you, I, I came across an interview where you mentioned that why Celeb is your brother. Yes, he is. Like brother, brother. Yes, we are cousins. Really? Yeah. So were you maybe growing up? Did you uh, did you grow up together? Were you singing together or? So we have one grandma that used to gather us all during holidays, and that was the only time that me and Waisele would be in one place. But we didn't really grow in one house. Yeah. But you know, we got to bond more because of this music thing. Because mm -hmm. he was in Chambishi and I was in. Chingola okay. and I was a daddy's girl my dad didn't want me out of his sight at okay. any point yeah. so the only time that me and him would actually meet was when because I didn't know he had interest in music as well you understand okay. he was just this guy but I knew there was just something in him because mm -hmm. he's been that type of person since he was yeah <laughs> throughout so we just got to bond more when we both found that we have the same interests okay yeah so uh are you the only musical people in the family? Well, yeah, me and him. I think my dad used to play the guitar. Something, yeah. You know, so it's I think I got, I got this music thing from my dad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you, you have recently been trending for two things. Right. Firstly, it's like people are just like, how are they close with Mutale Mwanza? How? <laughs> where did they, they know each other? Right. Where, is, where is this friendship coming from? How long have you known her? I've known her for, uh, okay, I've known Tele for a long time, you know, would yeah. meet sometimes and would say hi to each other, but weren't as close as we are right now. So me and Tele are signed to the same um, uh, media group. Okay. Yes, that's uh, Cecilia Media Group, and that's why we're mostly found oh. together. Mostly we're doing work, and afterwards, we're going to take pictures, we're going to do a live video, and that's fine, and then people will always comment. <laughs> the way I say, like people will always comment, like yeah, yeah, because because I'm okay with their comments. I mean, yeah. keep them rolling, share those memes. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, because yeah. uh, I think a lot of people are like, ah, hasn't Tali Mwanza ever kept a friend? Is she doing the same thing to Zavin? Maybe this is just. I think she's a good a person. phase, and mm. it will pass and. No, we're signed under the same media group, same okay. management group. The people managing her are the people managing, managing you. Yeah. Okay, okay. So I get it. So it's mostly work and yes. then work comes friendship from Exactly, whatever. because I mean, you're being found with this person. So Yeah. yeah. Okay. So now uh, I want to talk about, uh, before I even go about, uh, talk about your new video. Mm. You, you are in school. You mentioned that you're in school. What are you studying? I'm pursuing a degree in marketing. Was that a choice? Yes, that's something that I saw was linking to my type of uh, art. Okay. Yes, because I knew I could always go out there and advertise what people need are numbers, and that's something I'm already building. So I just needed to have some academic knowledge about what I'm trying to venture into. Okay. Yeah, because, I mean, in the near future, I, I plan on opening something that has to be like an advertising firm. 
That's good. Yes. So I just want to have a bit of knowledge about it. I mean, I can still make it without it, but I just want to have some knowledge. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's true. It's important. Yeah. It's very important. Yes. Okay. Mm. Now let's talk about your song, Ide Deshe. Ide Deshe ko Ide De. I can tell there's a marketing somewhere there. Right. You know, last time you released the video was uh, Undisputed, right? Mm -hmm. And also it brought a lot of talk. No, it was Nalema. Eh, it was Nalema. Oh, Nalema was the last one. Undisputed was before Nalema. So Undisputed right. also, people <clears throat> were talking about, I, I think that's the time I wanted to interview you. Just your line where you talked about... Um, the menopause line? Yes, the menopause line. Mm. Nalema bleed shanga menopause. No, I said mm -hmm. I met Nalema them bleed, bleed full menopause. menopause. First of all, yeah. what did you mean? Honestly, uh, I'll spill the beans if I explain it. I, I know. I have, you are I getting candy. <laughs> <laughs> because this explanation brings about a lot of talk. No, oh, okay, you know just for I mean? me. Like, now, this is just me. I'm trying, like, it's generally. Like I tell you, I'll shoot you, and then at the end of the day, you're going to die. It's like, I will make you bleed oh, until you menopause. So you, and you, that's, you, that's, yeah, that's exactly. So you bleed, bleed until it's now time for you you can so no longer... exactly <coughs> i will drain okay. you until okay. you exactly oh, but i choose not sense. anyone being candid so it's fine <laughs> but yes I, I i hate to really explain it because yeah. i understood it it was something intentional okay yeah oh now i understand so that was the time you released the song and people were talking it was trendy because of exactly. that exactly but this but time that meant biology there is no <laughs> there is no and I was just I like, saw the wow. Was like, oh, did she go to school? Ah! Did she go to school? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but anyway, I love my Zambian people. Okay, but then let's talk about uh, Ide Deshe. Right. What does Ide Deshe mean? Spice up. Spice up. Yeah. Okay, then watch the video. Right. And everyone was like, wow. I think the, cause I think the video has got like three parts, right? Yeah, it has. Three, three parts. parts. So like the first part is those, the jungle vibes. The jungle vibes, those the, the wedding, wedding scene, and, and, and then those, the blood, the choco, yeah. Yeah, so now let's talk about the jungle vibes. Right. <laughs> that's, that's what's getting people's attention. Right. Were you inspired by Anaconda, Nicki Minaj? Well, I feel like people are inspired by a lot of things and Nicki Minaj in question is a very beautiful woman. She's the queen of rap and just to have her and me in one conversation is so humbling, I yeah. must say. And, then, and uh, I just feel like we just did that. I really didn't look at it from the Anaconda perspective, mm -hmm. but I just, we just did what we wanted to do. You know, Zaven is not boring, honey. It's I'm going to do so you something. you to spice up something. Exactly. Now imagine that's the scene that people are talking about in the video. And that's the whole point. We're going to give you something to talk about. Yeah. The bad part, Ellen, is when you drop a song and nobody's talking about it. That yeah. should worry you. Yeah. You understand? Some say, no, the wedding scene wasn't necessary. Honey, it was so necessary. Like, and I was in a wedding man. dress. Yeah. Look at it from this angle. There's a muscle man. Exactly. You <laughs> notice that part. There's a shirtless pasta he's got a diary and then there's this woman who's acting like she doesn't want to be there like look at the creative side of things don't yeah. look at it from the wedding perspective you understand mm -hmm. because we were doing the opposite of what people in a wedding dress and in a suit do mm -hmm. you get it so okay. yeah now when i when i watched the video right i remembered um, i came across i think that was sometime last year right or this year i've forgotten a tiktok video that you did and you were talking about imomwa temoku kopesha ma photos mlepe pana videos shisha right i was talking about my mom yes you were talking yeah. about your mom exactly yeah. so you were take, you were talking about for those that haven't seen the video she was talking about how you take a, a tiktok video and you're smoking shisha you're drinking you're having a good time yeah, like, yeah. How do the your club. parents view that? Because her mother can, cannot, cannot allow My it. mom can... Uh, mom? So what did she say about the video? Because me, I'm thinking, if that one cannot... She laughed at it because she knows. My mom, honestly, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm a mommy's girl. And my, I, I have a strict parent. Yeah. Yeah. My, my, both my parents, when my dad was alive at the time, were so strict that up to now... There are just certain things, Ellen, that I can't do up to now. Mm -hmm. I know the, the scene, the jungle vibe scene was a little cuckoo and I was like, ooh, mommy. But Did you tell her you're going to do it, like to prepare no, her I mind or she her. saw it like everyone of us? So after the video came out, I just found um, a message saying, call me. <laughs> and I didn't call her until it was four days later. <laughs> 
<laughs> and there was something that came up. But my mom is yeah. my mom wants yeah. I can't. So what gave you the guts to then do the video? Because believe me, if I did such a video, I know my mom and my dad would be calling me. You know. <laughs> if I die, I die. If I die, I die. But like, yo, my mom, my mom is that person. But then when you talk to her? Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, I won't disclose what I was told, but yeah, my mom is that person. You kind of understood? Yeah. Did you try to make her understand or did you just... She cannot understand. It, like, my know, mom's no is a no. A big one. My yeah. mom's no is a no. But you know, I can't even have to go sometimes. So, I don't know. Why is she going to say that she won't disown me even if... You know what I mean? Ah, mom, I'm just scared of... You know, there are certain things that I still can't do. Yeah. I'm not in a house. I've got my own house. Mm -hmm. But there are just certain things I'm like, if mom sees this, I am going to be in trouble. I'm going to be in trouble. I'm going to be in trouble. I'm going to be in trouble. Yeah, because really, that's, that's yeah. the first thing that came into my mind when you, when you posted that and talked about that. Then I see the video, I'm like, mm-mm. But anyway, it's art. What she's saying, and that's the thing, I think it's difficult to be an artist and a strict parent. Mm. Not just strict. I think any parents, not, they, not, they don't mean it, like for them, it's really all love. Yeah, that's the thing. And, and I respect everything that she has to say, her opinion and what I did. But at the end of the day, it's art. You get what I mean? Yeah. There are certain things that I have to do. I know she's going to feel some type of way about it, but then it's art. Are we going to see a more, like, a, a more, um, what can you say, independent? You've always been independent. Yeah. But a, a more extreme Zavin, daring rather, Zavin going There's forward. There's a whole lot of things coming your way, Ellen. I'm working on my album. It's going to be diverse. It's, it's going to have... The Zavin that you guys have never seen before. That's why I named it the Queen's Coronation because it's going to bring out another side of me. Mm -hmm. You know, it's if, if I'm going to do the same thing over and over again, people will get we'll bored. Get and as I always say, Zavin is not a boring person. I'm going to bring this other personality that you guys have never seen before mm -hmm. to entertain you and you need to understand that. But it's okay. You can you can throw the hate. <laughs> it's, it's fine. But <laughs> I've been seeing you sharing the memes. That are exactly. That's the thing. And this is what, I, please, if you're going to share those memes, send them to my inbox and make sure when you're sharing them, you add a link to it. I love you. <laughs> At least I should get you the numbers, right? And they are getting me the numbers. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Uh, how, was, uh, how was it working with uh, Nez Long? It was so easy. It, you know, Nez Long is somebody that I'm found with in the studio almost all the time. Like, we spend so much time in the studio. And even when my fans were, because my plan was to just release my album. But then my fans were like, no, we need something from you, Zavin. So I said, well, I have these exams. Let, let me give them something before I actually drop my album. So yeah. it was even hard for us to even choose a song. But I was like, okay. For this moment, at this particular time, it did the chase the song for this. Yeah. It has well, to bring that song. wave of how the album is going to come out. Thank you. Are you going to tell us some of the collaborations that you have on the album? No, not yet. I, I want that to be a surprise. But one thing I can say is I've worked with a lot of my favorite artists. Cool. I wanted to ask about your dream collaboration. Do you have it on the album? Like locally, maybe if you say... My dream collaboration is on the album for local artists. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's there. So we can't know not because yet. they're not going to reveal. Not yet, Ellen. Okay, another hint. Is it a female or male? It's a male. Okay. Yeah. And you won't tell us who it is. No. <laughs> when no, is the album dropping? Uh, as soon as my exams are done, I'm going to fix it. At okay. Yeah, oh, so I'm you're trying to balance both. How is that? Exactly. It's so hard, Ellen. It's not the easiest thing to do, but I got to do what I got to do because I need both so bad. Yeah. Yeah, so I've just learned to strike a balance. What year are you in at school? Uh, sorry? What year are you in? I'm in my second. Okay, so you have like two more years? Two more years to go, yeah. You'll be done soon. Soon. Encouraging you, like, you'll be done soon. I will, two I years. will. <laughs> two exactly. years is close. One, two, down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll wait for that album. Now, uh, Nexus. There's been a lot of stories going on at Nexus. A lot of people, uh, we've seen people leave, we've seen people being signed. So it's like people, how, how is it going for you? Well, it's going well. I can't complain. Um, 
I feel like the people that have left have, have their own reasons as to why they are leaving. I wouldn't really speak on behalf of them. Mm -hmm. But I feel like if, if they feel I can do better when I'm independent, I mean, go out there, spread your wings, do what you got to do. Mm -hmm. And if I feel like Nexus is doing it for me, as I feel right now, I'm still there and yeah, I'm just, they're just trying by all means necessary to push my music and to just make sure I go out there. Okay. Yeah. Who is your favorite female rapper locally? Zaven. <laughs> Apart from yourself. Zaven. <laughs> Who is your favorite? Zaven. But I mean, I mean, there, there's so much Zaven. And then... <laughs> it's Zaven. Zaven is my so favorite So you don't, you rapper. don't have a favorite female? I mean, they're all my favorites, but I mean, yeah, Zaven no, is... That's a polite my answer. Top. And I don't, yeah. mean to, I don't mean for you to be mean. Honestly... Like, the, the, you can say the good I, rappers, the people that I, I, I listen to. I, I mean, Zavin is <laughs> for real. Like, I mean, like, uh, for example, if today you told me, oh, Helen, who is your favorite interviewer locally? Mm -hmm. I'll probably say, and because it's preference. Ah! <laughs> no, Helen, I am my favorite rapper. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, do you listen to other rappers, though, females? Yeah, I do. I do. I actually do. And you enjoy listening to them? Yeah, I do. I feel, I feel like they've got mad talent. Who do you enjoy listening to more? <laughs> All, of <laughs> All of them. Apart from All of them. So you're just trying to avoid to tell me your favorite exactly. female rapper? Well, because I've told you it's me. <laughs> what do you think of the rap industry, female-wise? Right I now. think I think they are coming up stronger and I feel I feel they are doing it. I feel at this point we have what it takes to even go out there. Look at Bombshell, she just won best female rapper in what? Is it a prima? Exactly. Yeah. That should show you something. Both Bombshell and Cleo. Cleo exactly. yeah, Bombshell USA, Cleo Nigeria. See? Yeah. So I headed the right direction. I feel like we're doing it. We have we have more confidence. Mm -hmm. and, 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 yeah, we're doing it. Okay, are you enjoying your wine? I am. Ooh, it's, it's slapping it. <laughs> <laughs> so the wine we're taking today, guys, it's yes. called La Colonia, Finca La Colonia. That's how you finish that. See, Primoz, why you for today? No, because something. Yeah, so you can yeah. find, you can, Alelanda Poza, which is really enjoying this wine. You can find it at the wine shop. Yes, only at the, the wine shop. shop. Yes, beautiful wine. Beautiful wine, yes. It's dry. <laughs> and beautiful. You've been saying it's dry from the time you did it. Yeah. It's dry. <laughs> like, it's really dry. That explains you exactly. what you're feeling right there. Uh -huh. So, Zavin, uh, what should we expect from you next? My album. So, you're not dropping any other single after it did the It's going straight into the album. I don't, I don't plan to, but you never know. Okay. But I really just want to drop my album from from my single. And by the way, we'll be launching um, Ide Deshe on Saturday. I need to check this again, but yes, we'll be launching Ide Deshe on Saturday. You guys can come through. Okay. We'll be with Uncle Waffles and... What do you mean launching? I, I, um, we're gonna be there. Like it's the first time we're gonna be performing it. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, we are launching it at Yano's Winter Fest. Yes. Okay. This Saturday. Okay, mm. cool. People will definitely show up, obviously. They need to. We need to see you guys perform Ide Deshe. Any more performances that, like how you planning to, when you release your album, are you, are you launching it? I have to launch it. Now I don't know, because I've been thinking of launching it on the copper belt. And you know, because I, I want all my G's around. <laughs> so I don't then, want a situation the where my homeboys, they have to. I don't know. I mean, you never know. I oh, might you can launch do it both here, places. but my plan is to launch it on the copper belt. As the copper queen. As the Makes copper sense. queen. Exactly. I need to yeah, launch it you, where you, you need to own the title. You get what I mean? Yeah. Because yeah. it's the queen's coronation, I mean. <laughs> Are you planning to settle in Lusaka permanently? Well, I wouldn't say that. I, I really wouldn't say that. But for now, I'm here because of school and yeah. work. Okay. Yeah. Probably work will keep you here. You know, but I, but I'm, 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 I'm on the copper belt every so often. Are you dating? <laughs> I just got married. <laughs> In the video, yes, but are you dating? Uh, yes, I am. Who? Wow. 
my baby. <laughs> yeah, my baby. Everyone has a baby. We don't know who it is. I'm letting the man. I don't think he would love that I say it out here. Well, he's not in the music industry. He's not in the entertainment industry. He's in the background. Uh, Ellen. <laughs> we I'm no, dating. but look, I'm not even saying that. Honestly, if, if 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 I tell you that, then I'm gonna give people ideas. No, I'm I mean, gonna give them ideas, and that's something he probably wouldn't. Um, yeah. But yes, I'm dating. <laughs> Some people even like to. Like to like like <laughs> like to like <laughs> you're blushing. Some you people have been speculated that uh, they like the chemistry that you and uh, Nays had in the video. I like the chemistry that me and Nays have. Yeah, that they thought it was Nays long. But I don't think it's Nays long. You don't think so? No. Hmm. Okay. I don't think it's nice. I don't know what, what are you waiting think. for? I'm waiting for you to tell me, like, is he in the industry or not? Uh, no, if I, I'll give people ideas. You don't but, have like, to say I'm his dating. name. I'm, I'm in a very serious relationship. Very serious? Is that blocking the other guys? Like, don't even come close. I'm in a very serious relationship. Well, I'm a typian, I'm a typian, but. <laughs> How did you how did you come up with the tagline? Uh, come, uh, come, come. Do you know that people will like it? Uh, anyway, a lot of things I do, people love them. So I didn't, I, I didn't really think about it that you much. You just said it, and it just flowed. You know, um, when I did that video, I think I was, I was with with Eunice, and mm -hmm. we were in in a car, and then I think somebody came and I saw them pass, but I was just focused on the camera and I said, "Hello, la la It's it's not something I thought about twice. <laughs> it wasn't uh, pre-planned. No. Okay. Mm -mm. Would you give us, you know, I like how you, uh, the couple of people just switch. Like here you're talking, huh? right. but the moment you say hello, like you're already switching. So I want you to say something or maybe just give us a line, something Zavin, something Coppola Queen. Like. You, look, you look a nice pop pop. Look into the camera. <laughs> <laughs> and make it a bit longer. Okay, so hello, I like a type it's a girl Zavin, the copper. No, you're not giving me the Zavin. The Zavin, the attitude. Okay, so it's the so. My chinim bonica winote, the sun. And that too much. Too much. <laughs> you look nice, popo. Po. You look nice, popo. Po. Uh uh, confidence. You look nice, popo. Po. Look nice, po po po. Is that confident? Feel that you're from up so. Feel that you're caripa. Okay, let's feel that you're caripa. Feel that you're caripa. Feel that you're from up so. Look nice, po po po. Look nice, po po po. Did I try? You tried. You're getting there. No, but I like the Coppola energy. Right. I like it. I like the people. It's everything. Trust yeah. me. It's authentic. It's rich. It's just yes. everything. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me. Yeah, I hope you'll come on the show again. Most definitely. When your album is out, we have to chat about it and more things. Yeah. When you're ready to tell us who your man is, you have to come on the show. Eh. Eh. Otherwise. Yo, eh. I will be. I will be. I will be. Eh. Okay, thank you so much. Guys, this has been Zavin, and uh, you need to, if you haven't seen her video, Ide Deshe. It's on. It's, uh, Nexus By the way, they can, I'm signed under Nexus Music, and yeah. they can always reach me at Cecilia Media Group at gmail.com. Okay. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at Zavin Coppola Queen. You can follow me on Facebook at Zavin Coppola Queen. Twitter, Zavin Coppola Queen. Just everything Zavin Coppola Queen. Perfect. And you can, they can watch the video on the Nexus uh, YouTube exactly. page. Exactly, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So check out Ide Deshe and uh, have a little dance. I think it's a very danceable song. It I is. Love it. It's it is. good vibes. It's good vibes. Yeah. yeah. This has been your girl Helen from the wine shop. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, me and right. Zavin will continue enjoying our wine. Cheers. I mean, cheers. Now, before Zavin goes, we, we like to give gifts. So we just want to give her, since she enjoyed this wine, mm, they I want did. to present her with some more wine. Please come on, come through, come through. Ah. What wine are we taking home today? Oh, let me see. So. Today I present you with uh, the 1659 Classic Red. Oh, thank so you. It's it's dry wine? It's actually dry, oh. easy to drink. Thank you. Oh, thank you so Check much. Check it out, guys. 
1559. There's all types we of can, wine yeah, here. But I don't mind. Did I pronounce the other one correctly? Yes, you did, actually. That's uh, Finca La Colonia Malbec. Oh, thank nice. you. Nice. Thank you so much for the thank wine. You. Really You're appreciate welcome. it. I'll definitely come back for more. <laughs> this is some good wine. You're welcome. I don't know. I'm going to go. i Every week, no, no, yeah, we're recording kind of good. <laughs> so, you've seen we're taking home 1659 uh, classic red mm. special edition. So, yeah, Zavin, we hope you enjoy the wine. Well, well I, I will definitely. Did you enjoy the interview though? I did. Can we do this again? Good, you're welcome. I like her energy. I know, thank you. <laughs> I like your energy. Thank you.